Hi, welcome to Cikgu Hana's channel. Alright, this time around, I would like to share a tutorial on how to develop an e-portfolio using Padlet. Okay, first of all, we go to a Google Chrome browser and then we type Padlet. P-A-D-L-E-T. All right, type Padlet. And then uh, we select Padlet sign up. Okay, all right, click on sign up for Padlet. And then I'm going to uh, register with uh, my Google account. And I'll pick my e-pembelajaran account. And then we wait for it to load. Okay, loading takes a little bit of time depending on your internet strength. Okay, there are two plans actually, basic and pro. So for basic, you are only allowed to have three padlets. Um, you don't have to pay, it's free. So why not? When there's a free option, then we pick the free one. All right, this one, if you want to receive notification from Padlet, then you allow. <clears throat> Otherwise, you just uh, click no. All right, this is um, the interface of Padlet. Once you sign up, uh, one Padlet is already designed for you. Okay, this is it. If you click on it, it's an empty Padlet. It's like an empty canvas, okay? But I want to uh, show how to make a new Padlet. All right, so you click on Make a Padlet, and then you can choose uh, whichever template that you want. I prefer to use Shelf because uh, to develop an e-portfolio, Shelf would be a suitable feature because you could actually um, uh, you could organize your portfolio according to columns. All right, and then uh, it will bring us to a setting so that we could modify our Padlet. So we start with a title. Uh, I type it portfolio and then I put my name Nurul Hana and then um, okay I want to put uh, my father's name so e-portfolio Nurul Hana Hussein all right for the description you could write your uh, course subject or your course name or your course uh, code or like for in for the purpose of this demo I would like to put uh, my slogan, which is uh, Sayangi diri hiasi pribadi. Okay, so I type Sayangi diri hiasi pribadi. Okay, then, so I next I go to icon. All right, I would like to put an icon the top banner of this padlet so i could either choose smiley there you go or i want to up upload my picture go so i upload and then i click upload and then it will bring to uh, my file and that's why i pick picture one picture of me that's it all right See, the icon is on the banner there at the left-hand corner. All right, so what are the features that we need to do? Okay, I want to change the background. So I'll choose picture and then I'll scroll down. I can pick any picture that I want. Uh, all right, I think I'm going to select okay, the bottom one, Canyon. Okay, there you go. Nice. All right, then we're back back again okay we see other what other features that we could explore but i think um, we don't have to do anything other you could always come back and uh, uh modify if you want later all right okay so this is the padlet it's like canvas um, so you organize in shelves columns so that you could upload your a document 
or files. All right, for the first column, uh, let's say I want to uh, type about me. So I put tentang saya. All right. Tentang saya and save. Don't forget to save. And then uh, click plus. Uh oh, okay. Click plus and then you could put the title and then you can type something. You could upload the picture. You could actually um, click on the camera and snap your face. All right, or you could click on the three dots there and then it will bring you to uh, multiple features or functions that you could explore later. All right, and then uh, all right, so let's say uh, I want to write um, wajah saya, okay, just to tell uh, whoever would like to look at my e-portfolio to introduce myself all right okay if you were to do this e-portfolio for your lecturer then you could actually your lecturer could actually see who you are by include your picture there okay in the second column uh, you could actually type uh, either document or this time around i want to type uh, bahan bahan rujukan okay so the top uh, column is um, the title for that column all right so that the top one and you save and then you can add plus so you could upload at the powerpoint or words um, what else or you could also link it to a website okay image you could upload image all right or you could also uh, click on the three dots and add whatever feature that um, you want okay and then we go on to the third column okay let's say you want to put reflection on the third column so you could write on top and then you can add the plus uh, you click on the plus at the bottom to uh, write your reflection. Okay, as I told you, the first one on top is the title. Okay, so if you want, would like to invite other people to your Padlet, so you click on the three dots on top and then invite people, or you could also give them the link to your Padlet. Okay. All right, I think... Uh, that's about it. Okay, now I would like to show you um, a ready-made Padlet that I did with my students uh, two years ago. Okay, if, if you could see the first column, I asked them to introduce themselves. So I put them in groups. So each group would have to snap the pictures and then name the group. All right. So, so these are the students, all right? So they named this themselves, okay? And then the second, second column, uh, I put a reflection column. So after each lesson, all right, they write a reflection on what they have learned and what they want to learn more. So each individual student will write under that column and then the third column uh, that's the tutorial for the task for the students to do so they could upload a document they could upload a powerpoint that they did uh, in groups and then again reflection for week two so they could uh, post their reflection okay what they have learned and so on all right, and then uh, it goes on until the last week of the course. And then we do a uh, reflection on the whole course and uh, a little bit of uh, study. Okay, this one is um, another Padlet that I did. Uh, for kafa teachers this one uh, 
I did last year, right? When I have to train the kapha teachers. Okay, um, again, I use a shelf template to get the first column. I put module and then a session one, session two, and then according to the skills. So I put resources. Um, I link it to image, to website, um, and then I put up uh, games, all right, that they could um, practice exercises, okay, that they could share with their students, to teach their students. And I also, um, you know, uh, link to quizzes, Kahoot. So they could actually use these apps um, with the students in class. Okay, so this is the training for the English language teachers that I did last year. Okay, so not only a portfolio, you could also use Padlet for teaching and learning. So you just have to invite the students to come in. All right, so this is another portfolio that I did this semester with my PDPM students. Okay, they need to come up with an e-portfolio. Um, so this is the template that I've given them. Uh, they could refer to this introduction and then the listening activities. They need to include the lesson plan and then the activities that they are going to do with the students. All right. Um, and then at the end is the reflection of... Um, what they have done for this uh, throughout the whole course, all right? And they need to uh, reflect on the three C's. Um, the, what are the three C's? Content, context, and child. That's the end of our tutorial today. Thank you for watching. Please help me to subscribe my channel, Channel Cikgu Hana. Help me to like and write your comment, share and subscribe this channel. Don't forget to press the bell to get notification from this channel in the future.